Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Cloud Data Engineering by Naresh Remula. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the complete data engineer interview process at EPAM Systems. A quick intro about myself. I'm currently working as a lead software engineer at EPAM Systems. And in my career journey, I have also worked with IBM, Deloitte and TCS. Over the years, I have successfully cracked the data engineering interviews at top MNCs like Accenture, HSBC, LG Mindtree, Tech Mahindra, Publicis Sapient, and Wipro. So what I will be sharing with you today is based on real experience and insights. By end of this video, you will have a clear roadmap of what to expect, how to prepare, and how to stand out in your EPAM data engineer interviews. So let's get started interview process the first step in the interview process is the pre-screening and online coding test in this round a recruiter will usually reach out to you through linkedin or job portals their role is to quickly assess your skills and overall suitability for the position if they feel you are a good match they will share a link to an online coding test this test typically includes a mix of theoretical questions and coding tasks in apache spark now here is an important point. This is not an eliminatory round. Your score here won't decide whether you move forward or not. Instead, the results are shared with the technical interviewers who use them to understand your coding ability before the technical rounds. And one more caution, do not try to cheat or use AI tools to complete the test. The system can detect this and even shows a cheating percentage to the recruiters and interviewers that can damage your chances, so it's always best to be honest now let's move on to the technical round one this round usually lasts about 1.5 hours and is conducted by one of the epams developers here your coding technical and communication skills will be evaluated in detail but keep this in mind if you fail to answer the must-have skills questions or if your coding skills are very weak or if the interviewer suspects cheating, then the interview may be wrapped much sooner than 1.5 hours. If you clear this round, you will proceed to the technical interview too. The format and difficulty are the same as the first technical round. Think of it as a continuation where interviewers deep dive into your skills. Next comes the managerial interview. This round is also about 1.5 hours, but the focus is different. Instead of going too deep into the technical questions, this is more about checking your fit for the organization, how you work in a team, how you approach problem solving, and how well you align with EPAM's culture and values. And finally, the HR discussion. This is the last step of the process where salary, benefits, and joining bonus negotiations take place. Once you reach this stage, it's usually about finalizing the upper. So that's the complete overview of the EPAM data engineering entry process. In a moment, I will talk about the skills required at different levels and what you need to focus on to succeed. Now let's talk about the skills required for data engineering roles at EPAM. The complexity of the questions always depends on your role level, junior, senior, or lead but there must have skills that every candidate should prepare for. These are Apache Spark, either using Python or Scala, or Python programming, SQL, and one cloud expertise, Azure, AWS, or GCP. In addition, knowledge of CAC and agile methodology is also considered a must. These form the foundation for every level. Now, apart from the must have skills, there are also nice to have skills, this includes Docker, Kubernetes, data visualization, data governance, NoSQL, and Spark streaming. Spark streaming is optional for most roles, but if you are applying for a lead role, then it becomes a must-have skill. So in summary, no matter which role you are applying for, you should be strong in Spark, Python, SQL, and Cloud. The difficulty of the questions will scale up with the role but these skills remind the core of your preparation. Now, let's talk about the different role levels that EPAM has for data engineer. There are four main levels, L1, junior software engineer, L2, 
software engineer l3 senior software engineer and l4 lead software engineer each level expects a different depth of knowledge in spark python sql and cloud let me explain what the terms novice intermediate advanced and expert mean in epam's context novice you understand documentation theoretical concepts and what the technology is about an intermediate is you have understood like hands-on knowledge can write code and complete the task independently and advanced you understand end-to-end -end systems solve complex problems and contribute without much guidance when it comes to expert you optimize performance troubleshoot major issues or then guide mentor other developers so for example if you are applying as a junior software engineer spark and python are intermediate level are enough but for senior or lead roles you are expected to be at advanced expert level in these core skills during the interviews you will be asked to write code directly in the interview portal the editor will be provided there and you will need to solve problems in python by spark and sql these three coding skills are mandatory and your answers will be evaluated against the expected skill level for your role so if you are preparing for epam carefully check where you stand in this skill matrix and prepare accordingly if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and you can also connect with me on linkedin i have added my profile link in the description and finally if you found this video helpful please give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content on data engineering and interview preparation